Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today is actually going to be a hair tutorial. This is going to be more of kind of like a boho, beachy, waves, California summer hairdo. I'm kind of trying to go for circa day, Kate, circa day 2005, Kate Hudson. So I will put a picture somewhere in here so that way you guys can kind of see the look that I'm going for. But definitely a very California beachy summer girl look. So this is actually super easy. Um, I will show you all of the products that I am going to be using so that way uh, you guys know exactly how to do this style at home. Uh, sorry I've been kind of MIA. I've been super sick with the bug for the last few days. So that is why I am kind of late on getting some of these videos up. So don't mind the Gatorade. Mama always says keep fluids in you when you're sick. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I am using my 25 millimeter Numi wand. This is the magic wand. Um, I love this wand because it does get so hot. It's really easy to use. However, I have burnt myself numerous times by all of the scars that I have on my hands. So be careful, girl. Now, I am. this is just air dried hair. So if you can see, there's a little bit of wave in it already just because that's how my hair naturally dries. But, you know, you can blow dry your hair if you want. I just don't like to. So that way it gives it a little bit more hold in my hair than when I blow dry it. It kind of gets too, like, silky. Uh, I've once I took a shower I just put a little bit of Moroccan oil in it and then let it air dry and then I am going to be spraying with this hot off the press by Paul Mitchell this is a thermal protection spray I love this stuff it smells good works good so we're just going to spray this on all over the hair Get up in there underneath because you're going to be curling all of it. And then just go ahead and brush that through. And then I always divide up my hair in different little sections. And you just need a little clippy like a claw clip to hold that up. Lovely. Doesn't have to look fabulous, ladies. Let's just be real. All right, so we're going to take a little section about yay big. I'd say this is about two inches or so. And here's the kicker. Pay attention, ladies. So when you're using the wand, you have to move your arm over your head. I know it's kind of awkward. And you're going to wrap it around. Now the first wrap, you want it to be how should I say, don't twist it, just wrap it around the wand at least one time and then you can twist the rest of the hair as you're going. Once you do it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It just gives it kind of like a little bit more of a messy look rather than a ringlet look. And leave the ends out so that way you can see that it's kind of like straight on the end right here because you want that undone look. And then you're just going to do the same thing over on this side. So hopefully you can kind of see that it, up on the top of the wand, it's just wrapped around very evenly. But then towards the bottom, I start to twist it. And then I'm leaving about this much out of the bottom so that way it doesn't curl the ends of it. Doo -doo -doo. Have you guys ever seen that video of the girl who's curling her hair with the wand and then she burns off her hair? Hopefully this doesn't turn into that kind of video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. You'll find it. It's hilarious, but really sad. I would never wish that upon anybody. Okay. And then again, same thing, wrapping it once and then you can kind of twist it on the bottom. Obviously, if you have longer hair, you're going to have more twists. I don't have my clip-ins in, so this is going to be a little bit more of a shorter do than what it would be if you had longer hair than me. So 
So this is what you're going to get. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then again on this side, taking about this much hair, I'd say it's about two inches just like the time before. And then you want to, this time, you don't have to obviously put your arm over your head, but you're definitely going to want to hold it downwards and wrap it, put the hair on top of the wand, wrap it one time, and then you'll see that the hair just kind of twists on its own. And again, so it's just wrapped around on the top and then it's twisted on the bottom. You leave the last like inch or so of hair out so that way it doesn't curl the ends and look too done. And then you're just going to do this around all of the rest of the head. Pretty easy, right? definitely take a little bit less hair than what I would on the bottom only because I want a little bit more definition on the top but let me give you a little bit of a close-up of how I do the top now it's very very important that you get really in there as close as you can to the scalp without obviously burning yourself because that's going to give you kind of like straight from the root volume And obviously you still want to do the same style as you were before. You still want to leave the ends out because it's, again, going to give you that kind of undone look. And for the bangs, like I have little like bangs that I've been trying to grow out. So I'm just going to be very, very gentle with those. You don't want to, you know, put quite as much heat as you would on the rest of the hair. And then pull over some more hair. I divide it into two again, and you're gonna do the same thing. Take it, first one is just wrapped around, the next ones are a little bit more twisted. Leave the end out, and then let it go. Let it go. All right, then again on the bangs, just a little bit, just to kind of give them a little bit of a wave. and then you would do the same on the rest. For these ones, it's okay to hold the wand sideways, at least I think so, because then you can get a little bit more volume closer to the scalp. If you tilt it too far down, then you're, you're not gonna get any curl on the top of your head. And if that's what you want, then that's what you should do. Okay, so now we are just gonna shake it like a salt shaker. So you'll see that we definitely have a lot of volume and a lot of waves in there. I don't know if you can hear me. 
So you can see that we definitely have a lot of volume and a lot of waves back here, but they're not like perfect waves. Like some of them are kind of kinky. Do your mind out of that are not that kind of kinky. But they're definitely more like beachy undone waves rather than like perfect like ringlets. So I think the best California way to do it is to just part it right down the middle. So that's what we're going to do. So you can take a little comb. This is like just any wide tooth comb will work. If you have a fine tooth comb, that does the job too. And then, voila! There you have it, folks. Beachy waves. Now, if you wanted to take a step further, you could definitely put some sea salt in there and it's definitely going to weigh the hair down and give it even more of like a beachy look to it because it's going to have that added texture. So yeah, I hope you guys like the look and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!